Despite his best efforts to try entering the castle unnoticed, the vampires know that Gabriel is coming. Night is fast approaching, and soon he will have to use all his wits and powers to defeat what nightmares inhabit this place of death and decay. His strength grows by the day, and yet his hate intensifies deep within. He eats little and sleeps less. She is there in his thoughts, his beloved Marie. He knows that his journey is far from over. This castle, I fear, will push him into the abyss from which there is no escape. Oh, that was an amusing narration. We're going to start out climbing a little bit. Yeah, it's just a little bit. It's not really, not too much. Over here to the right, there's a bag of daggers across that ravine. There's no point in jumping. Yeah, we know. guys are absolutely nothing in a large open area. But they're problematic in narrow areas like the library where I first fought. Not hit me. I like it that way. Well, pull his shield away. Really? You want to get hit by that again? Okay. Their attacks are so slow, it is so easy to guillotine them. That takes their health down pretty fast. Now, well, one down. Waiting for him to attack. There we go. I can do that. Pull that shield away. Really? Guess you haven't learned yet. As I said, extremely easy in large open areas. Those idiots couldn't even hit me. Can't fault them for trying. He dropped the whole crystal. Nice. That's a long fall. Immediately run all the way back, because there's a wall here that can be dashed. And inside is a life gem. We want to do that right away because skeletons appear real quick. Thank you for hitting me, by the way. Not really. Some vampires have added a warp to it. That's okay. 
And the trial for this level is to kill three skeletons while riding war. It's very easy to do. If you focus your attacks on the warg first, you, it's gravy. Because the warg can kill skeletons a lot faster than Gabriel can. As I think I show in this video. Okay, enough with this guy hitting me. Stop hitting me. I do not give you permission to do that. Okay, attack me off camera one more time, and you and I are going to have a problem, buddy. Oh, this work's really kicking my ass, isn't he? Apparently he's smarter than most other wars. Thank you for knocking the skeleton down, though. That was pretty amusing. Alright. I'm already using to beat the shit out of the skeleton. Literally. Was it like three hits? It knocked it down. That trophy seasoned is for earning so much experience. The game gives it to you when you earn, like, 20,000. charge my magic. It's nice how you can do it while you're on a on a monster. And we'll climb up the glowing pillar. I bet you two thought that was funny, didn't you? Stupid vampires. I'll show you what I think about your little game. Take that, bloodsucker. And they're done. Now, to advance, we go to the right, but we're going to walk across here. I don't know why. I didn't have to come this way. I guess I just wanted to show what was over here. It's a health font. I'm not even going to say it. And down this direction is a crystal growth. Yes, we know. And there's a knight with a scroll. And he's, oh, he's talking about uh, one of the relic powers. Turn on light magic and throw holy water and it'll put up a shield around Gabriel. I use this a lot on my first playthrough because what it does is it's a temporary barrier and it'll reduce damage that Gabriel takes for a little while. But you know what? I don't use it anymore. Oh, holy shit, that's a long fall. I won't use it anymore because all it is is an excuse to be sloppy. I'd rather use my light magic for actual recovery and my holy water for its true purpose of destroying vampires. And this is probably one of the hardest fights in the game. Three skeletons in, this, in, a, in a narrow corridor is just not right by any means. First playthrough, I died here more than once. And I was thinking, you know, what the hell? Or, yeah, exactly. Getting through this one is going to be tough. Yeah, first playthrough. 
One thing I will let you in on a little bit, you can waste your shadow magic if you want to, because there's a magic font on the other side of the door. I'm gonna run off this way a little bit. Ideally, you don't want to be above them like I just was, because then you can't see them on the camera. But sometimes you have to get away from them. There's a nice little knockdown. I like that. It's fun. I actually almost died here on my Paladin clear. But of course, they only have to hit you four times. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Four times in the full health gauge and you're dead on Paladin. It was entertaining, though, to say the least. Again, I'll just run him off a little. Hey, get out of the way. I'm trying to heavy this guy. Thank you. Not how annoying I'm actually hurt. Another thing to point out is uh, you can actually go back to where that health font was. You can climb back up both of those walls and go back up there and recharge your health if you need to. You know. I my paladin clear I had to do that. I'm, af I'm not afraid to admit it. And then there's full magic here, so that's good. And now we'll run up the stairs. Literally run, because otherwise it'll just take too long. And so ends the chapter. That was fun, wasn't it?